In this video, I'll show you how to enable remote play on your Xbox Series S. This way you'll be able to play your games on your iPhone screen or iPad or Android devices, doesn't matter. So let's get started. First thing, uh, turn on your Xbox and then we need to go in settings. Okay, so go over there, settings. Then we need to go down until you see devices and connection. Then tap remote features. Make sure that this is checked over here. So enable remote features should have a check mark. Then what we need to do is to go over here where it says test remote play. Press A and you just have to wait. Uh, the Xbox will go ahead and test your network just to see if uh, everything will be working properly. So just wait and don't press anything. It may take one minute, two minutes. Okay, so in my case, it took about 40 seconds. And here on the right side, we'll have some check marks and you'll have, you're good to go. This is great. Now, what you need to do is, we can exit this, by the way. Simply go back in the main menu. Go on your iPhone, iPad, or again, Android smartphone or tablet. And you'll need to download the Xbox app. It should look like this one on the App Store or Google Play Store. Then open the app. And you need to connect to your Xbox account. In my case, the app is already connected since I used, I used it previously, but you need to connect it on the same Xbox account as your Xbox. Makes sense, right? Then uh, make sure that the smartphone uh, or tablet is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Xbox. Then you're going to press this top right uh, corner over here. You see there's an icon on the left side of the bell. Tap it on it once. And then we're going to press on remote play on this device. Tap on it Then press continue. Then you just have to wait a few seconds. You're going to see this animation. Okay. Yeah. Just wait. And if nothing is happening and you're getting frustrated, so let's turn off the Xbox, keep press this uh, power button. Okay. And then press the power button back on. The Xbox restarted. And in the meanwhile, uh, you can go ahead and close the app and we'll just start fresh this time. Okay, so now what we need to do is to go back on the Xbox app, press this, continue. And now it works, you see, we got the message on the bottom. So again, sometimes you just have to turn, switch off your uh, Xbox, switch off the app and restart if it doesn't work. Now you'll get this screen and it simply tells you to connect your controller to your iPhone or other device. I'm going to drag down. You see there's the Bluetooth icon here. Keep it press. Keep it press again here. Then go Bluetooth settings. Take your controller and you see over here on the front, you have a small button. This is the swing button. Hold this button on the controller. You see this light flashing. You can release this button. And over here in this Bluetooth list, you should see under other devices, Xbox wireless controller, tap on it. Pair. And then the light on the controller will stop flashing. It just means that it's now paired with your iPhone. So go back into the Xbox app. Then press this icon over here, right beside the bell notification. Press on remote play on this device. Press continue. You have a small uh, animation, just wait. And here we go. Right now I have the same exact screen that I'm seeing on my TV. So at this point we can even turn off the TV. We won't need it. You don't need to turn on your TV every time you play on your iPhone. You can be in another room. That's not important. So this is my phone, this is my Xbox controller, and right now I can simply 
select a game to play, launch it, and it'll be the same exact thing as on the TV. The important thing is that your Xbox and your uh, iPhone have a strong uh, Wi-Fi signal. This way you won't have any lag and the signal won't drop randomly.